not gotten the hit. Council would have tied the major league record for most hitless at bats consecutively by a non pitcher. The Brewers stayed three ahead of St. Louis. Cardinals won 3 2 at Florida. When Arizona lost to the Dodgers, 7 4, the Diamondbacks remained a half game behind San Francisco. Detroit with a 4 3, 10 inning win at Kansas City to move four ahead of Cleveland. Indians blew a five run lead with Yabaldo Jimenez on the mound, lost to Texas 8 7, 11 innings. Rangers still a game ahead of the Angels who topped Seattle 1 0 in 10. Tiger Woods shot a 2 over 72 today. Third round of the Bridgestone. He is 12 shots off the pace. The rivalry is renewed in Boston. The newest member of the 3000 hit club, Derek Jeter and the Yankees, head to Fenway. Waiting for them, the Red Hot Red Sox. Dustin Pedroia, Adrian Gonzalez, today at 3 Eastern on ESPN Radio and now on ESPN. ESPN 1080 The Team presents The Tracy Dent Show. The Tracy Dent Show. Saturday mornings 9 to 11 right here. This is Tracy Dent. Come and join me Saturday mornings. We'll hang out together, have a few cups of coffee. We'll talk about a lot of sports, have some really great guests. We might even take your phone calls. Sports commentary. Compelling guests. Fun. And your phone calls. The Tracy Dent Show with Ken Allen and Xander Schroes on ESPN 1080 The Team. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a price war among the major term life carriers. Consider these possible rates. A man age 45, non-tobacco user, could obtain $1 million of coverage for as little as $75 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 10 years. We specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. A man age 50, non-tobacco user, may be able to obtain $500,000 thousand dollars of coverage for as little as 115 dollars per month and this rate is fixed for the next 20 years that's right guaranteed not to change for 20 years we have great rates for smokers too for new or replacement term life insurance call the term lifeline now 800-430-1481 800-430-1481 that's 800-430-1481 This is where great moments happen. Going to be fielded by Lorenzo Neal at the 25. Pitches it back to Wycheck. He throws it across the field to Dyson. He's got something. He's got something. He's got it. He's got it. 20, 10, He's got it. End zone. Touchdown, Titans. There are no flags on the field. It's a miracle. Tennessee has pulled a miracle. ESPN 1080, the team. This is the Kevin Sutton Show coming to you live from ESPN Studios in the lovely Orlando, Florida, 1080 AM. All action sports, all the time, every Saturday, 12 to 1 p.m. I'm Kevin Sutton, your host. It's my distinct honor to represent Wakeboard and Extreme Sports on ESPN Radio. Tune in each week when we'll be bringing you the pro athletes to discuss the latest equipment, upcoming events, and all the news on Extreme Sports. For those listeners that don't know much about wakeboarding and action sports not to worry you know what's gonna happen you gonna be poor oh baby also in the studio with me today is my boy shane the lovely Myra with the latest point of view are we allowed to talk on? y'all, okay. to, hey, y'all <laughs> got to spank it last week what's, what's with it. the slow music man i'm so used to like i can't even really represent my snoop dog today but hey how's everyone doing snoop dog yeah, stall candies head crushes there uh, you go there you go we need to david we need some pump up music man i'm, I'm like Ready to go to sleep. Yeah, that's what was in the computer, so I'm going to have com- to... That's not the official Kevin Sutton show. This is the Kevin Sutton show. <laughs> that, that's, that's the original. That was when we first started. You know, it gave me a little flashback. I liked it. You know what I'm saying? All right. A beautiful all day. Right. You know what I'm saying? That was when I learned my first three. You know? It was a <laughs> you know, nice song for me. Also, we got with us CWB. What's going on? I ain't talking about the wakeboard. I'm talking about Chris... Abel's baby, what's it, going on? What is that, Chris White Boy? No, it stands for Crazy, Crazy White, White Boy, Boy. really. <laughs> <laughs> he has it tattooed on his body, so uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's down for being crazy. But then we got my boy Jared Waters. What's going on with Ad Wall representing AKA for the Facebook. people? Representing Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Jared's actually the owner of Facebook. 
Hey, uh, our boy uh, Joe Durkin, Metro Joe, is actually at the 311 concert. Oh, he's up there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lucky Joe guy, Durkin. Lucky Durkin. I got a text from him last night really, really late. So. But he's there for the show, so he's doing his thing, getting a couple of interviews and different things like that. Yeah. And and, uh, and <laughs> yeah, <he's laughs> is that inter- what he's doing? He's, he's, got, a, he's got a fake press pass up there. <laughs> That's what he's doing. Hey, and uh, representing South Florida on behalf of the West Coast is David up in the studio. <laughs> what up? What up? <laughs> Dave, Dave, you ain't from on? the West Side, fool. No, he's representing South Florida, man. Oh, South Florida. Okay, okay. Miami up in the house. I know Brian's mad that he's here today. Four. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and your girl Paige, always, always with us. Our, Bri- our Brian is right now in the 305 representing mm-hmm. Miami for the show. He's, he's listening down there. Is he in Miami there. right yeah, now? I thought he was in California. Oh, All right. Yeah, he's back out in Cali. Oh, he's in Cali. Oh, Joe Page is on the line, guy. by the way. So Page, oh my goodness. And my girl Paige, Lil Sis, you know what I'm saying, the Get Down crew. We also want to let the listeners know that we are going to do some things no, out we here. We are live right live, now. See us in the studio. Checking it out, checking it out. Go to KevinSuttonShow.com. Oh, is that where they're going to go? Yep. My bad. Hit the Watch Us link. Provided by Stoke Meter. Watch our weekly party at the ESPN Studios. And uh, today's show is brought to you by Unlock Skate Shop, located in the heart of Florida on the corner of Pine and Court Street. More than just a skate shop, culture, art, and music, carrying the latest in skateboards, apparel, eyewear, sunglasses, hat, and music. Go there or go online to unlockskateshop. But they ain't got this one. They ain't got that one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Unlock ain't got this one. They got to get that in there. You know, they represent And they don't have that right sign either. They ain't got got that sign right there. And they ain't got this here. You know what I'm saying? This this limited edition. Where'd you you get that sign at? Hey, this is Jay Waters. That's a, that's a gr- I, man. What is it? <laughs> <I don't, laughs> it's a handmade. I don't even know what that that's, is. That's handmade car. You know what I'm saying? How this much was that? This How is, much was it? This should go for a thousand dollars on eBay. Okay, okay. Can, I think if we get Scott Barley to rock sign rock it, yeah, with empty cans. <laughs> if Scott Barley signed, it's worth a million dollars. There you go. It. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna have Scott Barley on there. <laughs> Scott's looking like what the? He's like, I don't sign no ghetto stuff up in the studio. <laughs> 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 oh man! Oh, my bad, man. Yeah, my bad. Well, uh, you know what I'm saying? But this, this is, this is, this is, this is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Character, club rock star. Get it right. It looks like bananas. <laughs> we go, we, it is bananas. We get bananas up in this thing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hey, what's boy. that? Hold on. What's that? Are what? you trying to say something? Putting bananas on our sign? <laughs> Monkeys. <laughs> oh, I like that. Man, Jared Waters is with it this morning. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, Ooh. we got to hit your girl, Paige. It's time Paige. for her. It's her moment. Hey, guys. What's I'm also rep- I'm also representing South Florida. There you go. That's right. South Florida. No West – well, yeah, West Coast, West Side today. But what's going on? How's the weather yeah. down there, Paige? It's, I thought Hurricane Emily was supposed to be coming through, and it's sunny. So, you know, hot. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, you guys can check out our picture of the week on our Facebook fan page, or as usual, you know, KevinSuttonShow.com. This week's picture is of Rockstar Energy sponsored mountain biker Jordy Lund. And check out this picture. This Canadian is like popping wheelies, bouncing off wood on the side of this pick. And I recently went my mountain biking in Colorado, and it was out of control. So I had to get the Rockstar himself, Jordy Lund, as our picture of the week. So, you know, thanks, guys. Hey, that is a crazy picture. That is nice. Yeah. Man, Shane what, doing some nonsense What's wrong with y'all, right man? There. No, I'm just saying Shane doing some well, nonsense, man. There's, the, there's Paige's the music, the late Paige music coming in. <laughs> hey, I'm still learning, guys. My hey, bad. Hey, right, now you're no, doing it. Paige, don't worry. Paige will smack that butt. She's We're like, still learning. Hey, <laughs> she's like, this is my, my moment. So. Hey, Paige, how was your how was your mountain biking going, though? Oh, it's sick. I, I have a couple bruises, a couple a couple scars, but it was awesome. Hey, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? You got to send those pictures so the fans can see you out there. You know what I'm saying? You know they always trying to get with you. I tell them, <laughs> Paige got a man. Leave it alone. Paige, Thanks are you coming up? Out. Paige, are you coming up for Toe Jam? Yeah, I hope so. Get oh. funky with it. I got it. Oh, Mr. Wait, Barley's yeah. in the studio. I have to. Uh, Barley's like the new DJ up in the Kevin Sutton show. <laughs> hey, you know what I mean? Hey, he's been here more than, like, I think Shane and stuff, you know? But yeah. anyway. <laughs> hey, um, I'm part-time. Can, I mean, Paige, Paige, have you seen our new uh, picture on the website? Yeah, it is balling. That is a that's, nice that's picture. That's what's popping. It's that's popping. from G-Food Photography right there. There you go. There we go. Nice. Find the camera. Look and fly. Look and fly. Hey, that's what it is. The new ones is coming next week, baby. You know what I'm saying? Getting on there doing that thing. 
Thanks, Paige. Um, Picture of the Week was brought to you today by Marine-Products.com. They are the number one place to buy all of your water sports gear, wakeboards, water skis, tubes, life vests, and more, with all of the top brands, especially Byerly Boards. But wait, they have more. Marine Products offers the lowest price guaranteed as well. Go to Marine-Products.com or call 1-800-973-2834. Check them out. That's awesome. And uh, and, and uh, Jared Water is representing some uh, marine products today. You should put the camera on yourself. Rocking the new hat. Jared Water. I like it. Yeah. I like it. It's that black on black at and midnight. You know what I'm saying? He riding like, uh, what's that? Grub Grub and Barley used to have their boat like that. And it looks good with the green, right, Kev? All, black. all blacked out, right? All black. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Murdered, Murdered out. Black and green. That's the uh, Kawasaki colors. <laughs> he's, he's got the green skull cane. Hey, you know right. we ride them cows like 125. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That was a remix. Oh, okay, y'all know about that. Awesome. Me and Shane know about that there. And you guys check out Shark Week, Shark Week a little bit? Check it. See an episode or two? I seen uh, one we'll episode. The guy guy got snagged on. Did you know you can, like, die from a uh, shark bite? No. Not ju- no, no, I'm saying, no. hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> not just from getting bit. Right, do the not just, of the week. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> that is not a do. No. You can get bit and live and walk away. But there's the bacteria from the shark's mouth that they say is a whole different type of diseases that can actually infect you and kill you right. just from the shark bite. Even if you live after the bite. You seen the movie that's coming out? Oh, man. It? Shark Night Josh 3D? Josh Palmer. You know shark what I'm saying? Night 3D? They could have used me for that Wait role. For I, ain't, I wouldn't need no makeup. You know what I'm saying? I'd have matched that guy perfect. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I could have a couple of them 360s. You know what I'm saying? Well, a you little, have to, little you have fake to try Gucci out for glide. part two. You know what I'm saying? Part two. You know what I'm saying? They, they took a light-skinned black guy and put a bunch of makeup on him for a stuntman. Or this black guy that was wakeboarding. Hello? The, uh, Paige has left, left us. <laughs> Paige, you know what I'm saying? Paige She's like, I'm out. I'm out. Peace. <laughs> no warning, no nothing. <laughs> but outside of that, you know what I'm saying? They put the little makeup on them and try to, you know, make them look darker. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, it came out good. I've seen a couple of uh, clips from the movie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A little inside scoop. It was good. It was good. 3D. 3D. Hey, 3D. Get that. It kind of seemed like that one movie about the piranhas in the lake. Oh, yeah. Did you, you see, see that, that movie? movie? That movie I sucked. It was like everybody was like wakeboarding Piranhas. and having fun. I saw fun the original Piranha boats. movie, you know, which which was like back in the 90s or oh, 80s. That, was good. That, good movie. that movie was crazy. This movie was retarded. Everybody was getting eight. <laughs> this movie was stupid. And they had some, ma- was it Mastercraft or Nautiques in the movie? I seen a couple of uh, correct crafts up in there. And yeah. A, a Moomba. They didn't have a barley board. I mean, a barley board. They didn't have a barley boat. They needed to have that one next. Yeah. And that that, that would have be been hot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But Maybe speaking of. That out. Right. Next time, definitely do it. Awesome. Speaking of uh, of barley boards, Kevin, are you doing sign language, man? No, I was talking to the <laughs> people. T- got to hear us. Take control. I was doing something with somebody else, boss. Go ahead. You know hey, what I'm saying? Speaking of barley boards and uh, and rock star, we have the one and only Godfather Scott Barley back in the studio today, and um, right. and and we don't have uh, Mr. Brandon Thomas, right, Mr. BT. Yeah, I don't know where he's at. Okay, well, we're going to see if we can get him on the air. And uh, and always representing Rockstar, since he's not on the road, he yeah, said, I'm doing not- my call-in from the studio, Mr. Spencer Williams. What's going on, everybody? Back in town in Orlando, loving it, not on a flight this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm about to see somebody do a trick right there. You know, I'm so used to hearing your voice announcing the, the oh, moves okay. and stuff on the water. <laughs> I thought, you know, saying he's about to announce somebody. Do, just go ahead and say somebody's about to do a Whirly Bird 9 or something like that. Go ahead. Something like that. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now say Come on. Now come say, on. Say, it's your moment. It's your moment. Uh, Switch backside to fakey little uh, transfer on the fun box. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we got that lock. You know what I'm saying? I'll transfer on this fun box right here. You know what I'm saying? We you, gotta, you can do we that, gotta Scott. Just gonna great. take a picture with uh, Dwight in the studio. <laughs> He's matching him. Oh yeah, he does. Got the He's Dwight. got his Dwight skull candies on. Hey. Hopefully go. Dwight don't leave us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dwight yeah. don't leave. He ain't going nowhere. Yeah, if nah. he knows what's good for him. Hey, if anybody knows Spencer Williams though, so I'm going with it. He ain't going nowhere. All right. You know what? We we've talked about this. Um, I heard the new commercial. Have you heard the new commercial, Scott? With yes, the uh, the Tarly the Tarly, the the, <laughs> the, tar- <laughs> the barley toe jam. Oh man. Yes. Uh, but uh, it's a hot commercial. It, David, is there any way you can cue it? Can we put it on right now? Our uh, the new barley toe jam commercial. I I can find it during the break for you. Okay. Cool. It's it's hot. You guys did a good job. You and Brian. Yeah. 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 Fine but around. um. But you know we've had you on eighth annual toe jams coming up. You know, and uh, and we need to get a little serious and let people know out there what really to expect. Besides us, besides yeah. us, because mm-hmm. uh, I believe Kevin and Shane are gonna MacGyver their tents out there, and yeah. Chris, yeah. they're gonna live out there in Metro Joe. I'm living out there. <laughs> we go, we go hey, I, I don't even need a tent. Just give me somewhere flat to lay. <laughs> 
that's Chris Abel's. I'm gonna be Chris. out the the toe jam getting down. You know what I'm saying? You know, do a little something. Some people ain't seen before. You know? Yeah, bring it. Sign up. You know what, what I mean? What you gonna do? I'm going Sign out there up. and get you down, man. Do, do riders out there. Um, check it out. You should you should try to qualify because I believe I heard Mr. Barley say you are officially unofficially part of the Barley team. Hey, did you? Hear, <laughs> see, you don't even say it smooth enough. Official unofficial sponsor of the Barley Toe Jam. You yeah, can't if you, you stutter your, with. You got your team hat. Th- this is an actual team hat here. Can I buy this at the store? No, I don't think so. It's got the no. rock star underneath the list. That's awesome. Oh, when yeah. it has this right here. Oh, yeah. When it got that right there. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Yeah. When it got that right there, that's what it is. Got you know that what right saying? there. Got your jersey you got, now, too. You know what I'm saying? Got the rock star jersey. Officially I'm, on the Fire League Rockstar team. Hey, man. Can't hey, nobody get that. next time you ride, sorry to interrupt, but just like. Plug that in my back. <laughs> no, put it on your board. Oh, put that on the yeah, board. Yeah, put like a car battery and just. You know Kevin doesn't really stay on the board long. so. Oh, don't even start, girl. I'll be stuck in the water. See, that ain't even right. No, he does right. I'm, I'm, I'm starting having to represent, you know what I'm saying, get out there and do my thing, you know what I'm saying. I'm looking at um, a couple of little boards, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying, from the broadening line that I'm going to be, you know, rocking this year. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. Be doing John that. Lipscomb is waiting for your photo shoot. But hey. anyways, but seriously, let's talk about this toe jam and let's mm-hmm. talk about what people can expect because you're expecting – Kevin's bringing a crew from Bogota, Colombia, Scott. He made friends hey, with man. Andre, so we got to send him a shout-out. At the uh, wakeboarding school. Colombia. A uh, wakeboarding school. Columbia. Yeah, a wakeboarding school wow. back out in um, Bogota, Colombia. And they're coming down to the toe jam. They wanna, they we're wanna hang see out. Lots of wake skating for sure. Um, you know, it's the only wake skate contest that's all the aspects of wake skating. You know, behind the boat, behind the PWC, the winch, and the cable. So it's gonna be four days packed full of the best wake skaters. You know, around at the at the projects. And uh, just lots of tricks going down and just lots of wake skating. Fun time. There's going to be bands out there, too, and people can come and camp, and it's, it's going to be a fun time. Yeah, sure. normally uh, competition that, that are hosted throughout the wakeboarding and wake skating industry, no one really has involved themselves as much as you have with this. I mean, guess being the godfather of it all. Oh, man, yeah. it's a lot of work. You know, we build a course every year, and this year we're uh, – you know, redoing the projects course out there. So we're ripping rails down and putting new ones in and it's going to be a fresh new look out there for sure. So it's a lot, a lot of work. Scott, give us a little history. How, okay, this is the eighth annual. Yeah. How did the toe jam actually happen? Cause you've been involved in this industry. How many years now? Um, I've been in the wakeboard and <laughs> like almost 19 years, almost 20 wow. years, something like that. Okay. And, uh, so, been a long time for sure. Okay, we. I want to. I. I mean, I want to know how this all started and mm-hmm. how this has become one of the biggest events. Yeah. Of uh, of the industry. So, David, when when we get back, we do you mind running us through that and, and letting us know? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I got I got a real question. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna come when I get can back. Can you Can you fake us out with it? Oh, I, like I was just wondering dumb. about you know minorities in the water sports industry. There's not many out there, and how do you feel about being like one of the few that have gotten involved in sponsoring? riders like that you know what i mean i think it's a good thing that people are doing it you know what i mean you gotta yeah. speak out you gotta speak out it's so oh, quiet yeah. it's so quiet we need some hey don't get quiet man don't get quiet there's like, a lot hello. of companies that run from it man but scott barley stepped it up oh, all yeah. right when we get bring back all i do is win 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 no matter what got money on my mind this is why we love sports. But it's, 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 it's easy to talk about. It's easy to sum it up. We're talking about practice. Not a game. Not, a, not, not the game. We're talking about practice. Practice, man. I know it's important. But we're talking about practice, man. What are we talking about? Practice? We ain't talking about the game. I mean, how silly is that? And we're talking about practice. Practice. Practice, man. Not, not, not a game. We're talking about practice right now. It's funny, it's to, me funny to me, too. ESPN 1080, the team. If you're in sales, then start off the new year on a great career path. ESPN Radio and ESPN Deportes Radio, Orlando Multimedia, are now taking applications for energetic, enthusiastic, and aggressive sales representatives. Send your resume to hr at radiogenesis.com. 
That's HR at RadioGenesis.com. We have openings for two executives who want to join the ESPN and News Talk brands in the Orlando area. If you understand event marketing and advertising sales or have a desire to break into the Orlando media business through ESPN and News Talk Multimedia, then we want to hear from you. Compensation, benefits, and a great list of advertisers are included for the right qualified candidate. Sales experience is required. Send your resume to HR at RadioGenesis.com. That's HR at RadioGenesis.com. ESPN Radio 1080, ESPN Deportes Radio 1190, and Genesis Communications are equal opportunity employers. Business owners of Orlando looking to improve your search engine placement? End the search with MyOrlandoDirectory.com. Have a story to tell, a product to sell, or an event to promote? MyOrlandoDirectory.com is the place. This innovative new site comes complete with tools to track your company's marketing program to compete and stay ahead in today's fast-paced business world. Reach over 5,000 business owners through visual and virtual tours. Learn more at MyOrlandoDirectory.com. That's MyOrlandoDirectory.com. If you're a diabetic, you and I both know the process of testing your blood sugar levels can be painful. At times, it seems your fingers can only take so much of the painful pricking. Well, now there's an alternative from Advanced Medical Support. Call us today to learn how you can get a state-of-the-art meter with the newest pain-free technology for free so you won't have to prick your fingers anymore. These are alternate site testing meters that test less sensitive areas of your body. We'll even deliver your supplies for free bill Medicare or your insurance company for you and remind you when your supplies are running low. And when you call us, please be sure to ask for your free pain-free meter. You must be covered by Medicare or private insurance to qualify for the pain-free meter. So call today. 800-419-2201. 800-419-2201. For free delivery of your diabetic testing supplies, call 800 419 2201. This is the Kevin Sutton Show coming to you live from ESPN Studios, lovely Orlando, Florida. All action, all the time, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I'm Kevin Sutton. And what we're talking about, this show is brought to you today by. Mayor Development and Construction. Guys, ladies, and businesses, do you need some help around the house? Are you adding to your home, or do you want to build a new structure? Mayor Development and Construction can do it all, from small to big. Licensed, insured, and bonded with over 25 years of experience. Mayor Development and Construction, call 407-325-7352. And USA Immigration Services, handling all of your immigration needs. Call 407-894-6333. And always tell them Kevin sent you from ESPN. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Hey, so we know that BT was supposed to be here. And uh, I just got to keep on ragging on my man. No, no, no. He's on the way. He's on the way. I got a text um, from the boss over at the Barley Uh Barley team (laughs) saying that BT. I'm scared, too. Look at this. BT is on the way. She went to his house, yanked him out of bed. She probably did. (laughs) Put that on there, G. Hey, if you mess with the boss, you's in trouble. I'm scared myself. Okay, so back to what we was talking about. Myra was, before we went on break, Myra asked you about the whole situation about toe jam. What, the toe jam. Toe jam, how did it come to yeah, be? Yeah, you know, um, wake skating was on the pro tour. It was just like this kind of sideshow thing. We rode behind the jet ski, which, you know, back then was, everybody was riding behind the boat pretty much. So... The tour kind of dropped wake skating, so we needed something. And uh, O'Neill came to me with the idea actually first, and you know said, "Hey, we want to get behind you and do a all wake skate contest. You know, you do it at the projects. You know, that's where everything was happening out there. We could build rails, do everything there. So we came up with the the name Toe Jam because that's the way you get towed. You know, you ride behind the boat, the PWC, the winch." And that was the three things that we did. Um, we recently just added a fourth thing, the the cable. So um, that's been around for the past three, four years, the cable part that's, of it. That's awesome, yeah. So um, it's just gotten bigger every year. Lots of new faces come out to the Toe Jam. You know, lots, you know, I think we met George Daniels out there a long time ago. Oh, really? He was uh, somebody that we didn't know and was just this little kid and just all sorts of uh, – 
just new faces and but new George talent. George Daniels is, is riding for uh, the Barley Boards team now. Oh yeah, for but sure. After after we saw him there, hey, don't be don't be jumping on the fish on the fish. Go ahead, go ahead, <laughs> Mr. Scott Barley. Continue. Just I mean that's how the Toe Jam came about. You know, just you know my partner Sean Dishman. He runs a bunch of um, you know contests back in the day, and he still does the Pro Wakeboard Tour, and he's helped out. You know, this whole time too. So, um, okay. him and my wife Kim, and it's just every year it just keeps getting bigger and bigger, and Kevin the writing Kim gets better the and boss, better. Right? Kim, Kim, Kim the, the boss, boss, the, the boss. original. And taking boss. it back to the projects. Yeah, and yeah. back oh, to the projects this year. You know, we took a break and went to you know OWC because we added the cable part to the contest, and we kept you know having to move stuff and this and that. So that's why we went there and. Now we're just going to do the cable part with the SESI Tech. You know, it's yeah. a System 2 that's two-tower cable, and everything's just right on site right there. And back to the roots, you know, back out to the projects in Bithlo for sure. Yeah, awesome. hey, Bithlo. Hey, it's so, be good. so we're going to expect a System 2 park with all new obstacles, right? Yeah, that's we're, part re, of we're redoing all the obstacles in the, in the cable part and the PWC course. So I've been out there with some of the guys, you know, working all week. We got three more weeks out there, just giving the whole place a facelift and all new stuff. So it's gonna be really good. And I hear that you and Kevin are actually gonna go um, talk about this on Fox TV in yeah. a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah that's we, gonna be we cool. We go for a while. You, you know, you guys, I, while. maybe we'll Ke- get Kevin's Kevin, Kevin out there riding. We're gonna have to see what he's got now that he's on the team. Oh team. man! Yeah. Oh, oh I'm gonna Fox. shut your mouth. What you just said? Come on. What you just say? <laughs> You're gonna have to do that. Oh, see, hey. he ain't repeating it. Cause I thought he said I was on the team. I told like you that, man. You got the team hat. Yep. See, I ain't gonna cry. You know what I'm saying? But I like the first. Can you of give all us thing. your acceptance? You got a yeah. wake skate like though. You got thing. your wake skate on. Hey, I can wake skate too, man. Is, like is there on. anybody you'd like to thank? Yeah, you I'd know, like to just thank being first on the team. of all my mother for all that she has not done. <laughs> no, Yo, man, joking. put that hat on. I you gotta rock that hat. I know. You don't want to mess up the headphones. Was, was this the award I get, Jared? You know, saying award. I first like to thank everybody that's done so great for allowing me to be in this sport, even though there ain't too many of my kind here. I like. That. <laughs> you know, so, hey, but the question I did bring you. Though, I get James Stewart out there on the boat. He, he I heard surf. James Stewart. Yeah, he lives out, out there. there in Windermere. I haven't seen him do nothing. He, he just showed how he loved his new boat in the interior. I thought it went better for in that video. They would have showed him getting down, regardless if he fell. Just showed him getting down. He wake surfs pretty good. That's what well, they should have shown. Wake surfing is easy. Isn't and it? his no, brother, his brother long. wakeboard real good, Malcolm. I, he was at OWC getting down yeah, with Jerry. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. hits all the stuff out there. They're yeah, good. You know what I'm saying? Hit that thing, man. You know what was saying? it good? All right, get your but, question. Okay, out of my way. question is, is um, Mr. Brandon Thomas. No, his nationality exactly. What is that? I think he's part Puerto Rican. Yeah, right. It's yeah. like or, okay. He's a his minority. Mom, he's one of me. His mom is Puerto Rican and his dad is white. Okay. All right, so he's one of me, not yeah. one of you, one he's, of me. Yeah, he's one of you. <laughs> he's got some of that Latino. <laughs> that Latino. So he's a little bit crazy. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Watch out now, but, Brandito. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, actually, in the industry, there's not a lot of minorities that participate. One. And then, how do you feel you signing Brandon Thompson to your team? Uh, now he's got Hispanic and blacks represented. No, on the I'm just saying. Team. How do you, how do you feel allowing him to be a part of your team? What do you think that's oh, doing man, for the sport? I feel blessed to have him on the team, man. He, he's been one of our boys forever. You know, he's you know ride for Hyperlite forever. Same same family, you know. But him just coming over to us, it's it's huge, you know. Oh, sorry. Woo. What's going on? We, we got a fire to... up in here? Oh, my. Is that the fire alarm? It's, no. It seems like 1190s having their own party They're over going there. Crazy man, over there. man. Okay. That's the Latino bit of the oh, station. Oh, yeah. Brandon over there. BT <laughs> over there. He maybe went to the wrong studio. <laughs> they got a chihuahua up in the studio. They got a, yeah, I, mean, I think he went over there. Don't talk about my people, okay? I don't even know, All right. Man. Let's just, let's just uh, carry on. on so, to gonna the have, <laughs> so we're going to have wake skating behind the boat, winch, winch pool. <laughs> And and you know people can bring their families out because you're you're oh, a father you've got you've yeah. got children and you and it's your daughter. It's definitely daughters a family oriented contest. You know, come out, check it out. If you haven't seen wake skating, come check it out. And I'm sure if you wake skate, you already know about it, so you're yeah. gonna come out. And so um and you're gonna have bands, you know. Yeah, we're gonna have some uh couple bands on Friday, Saturday. So. And is Brandon gonna be representing on the uh on the turntables too? Yeah, I think he's gonna get up there for sure and do some okay. stuff. Do you have room for Kevin to, to do his man, debut? Song? Yeah, man, you got a you got a freestyle why, rap why, for us. Why, yeah, it ain't gonna be a freestyle, man. We are gonna put the whole thing down for you, baby. We got we got the whole crew coming out there. 
and, and going to give you a whole live performance. You know what I'm saying? And, and Spencer, I want it all, man. you're going to be representing the Recovery Rock Star Room, right? Um, yeah, we we probably won't do that out at the Toe Jam, but yeah, I'm definitely still um, deal with all the riders and uh, you know handle all the tour stops. I mean, we still got two more tour stops. Um, one being the final stop in Knoxville, and then Worlds is coming up, and I think it's like a week. Is it um, Worlds in Tennessee? No, Worlds is in uh, Indianapolis. Indianapolis. And then um, the stop five is in Knoxville, Tennessee. So they kind of moved that back because the uh, University of Tennessee will be back in school. And usually they have it like a week yeah, or two maybe. before, and so the, the the students aren't even back on campus, so um, kind of catered a little bit to that. So to it's, gonna sure be, it's gonna be a good stuff. You know, saying the college students always come out and represent I mean, hard. Last week we had a. Uh, you know, we were in Minneapolis in the river, and the river was just flowing really heavy, like I told you guys. Yeah, and that was crazy. It ended up, you know, Harley took the top spot for pro men. Hey, we saw um, Harley yesterday. Didn't we see Harley, Kevin? Yeah, I think just before he was leaving out for his uh, – He was riding out on the lake. lake. Yeah, Harley sure took first. Did. And then, um, yeah, he's always out there on the water. If, if you're out there Stop, on, on the right. jet. We got to get people to join the uh, Barley Facebook page for Toe Jam. Oh, yeah. Right? They're they, they kicking like 6,000 right now. Really? Oh, no, on the Barley Toe Jams, um, a lot of people haven't liked that because they already know about it. So. All right. I mean, and uh, and before we uh, we move on, and, and I want to leave room for BT when he gets here, tell us some of your sponsors. We want to definitely uh, thank and, and make sure we're including them. So. Um, Rockstar for sure. You know, O'Neal, Nautiques, Nike 6.0. Kevin Sutton Show. I didn't know Kevin you was Sutton with uh, Nike 6.0. I didn't know that. I'm one. not, but they. Oh, for the toe they, jam. They do the toe jam. Okay, you okay. Know? Continue. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway. Arnett sunglasses. Oh. Well, um, I wanna, I wanna bring David into this because we're gonna talk a little bit about Ocho Cinco. Hey, what do you know, Shane? What do you know? He was with well, Cincinnati. He, he just went with the Patriots. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. he's not. Is he happy about that? Yeah, he's. he's is very he? Happy. Why won't he buy a house there? He's like he's not ready to to settle in probably, there yet. He has probably five or six around the state. Right? <laughs> I think he wants to move in with Tom Brady. I think yeah. that's <laughs> I think that's the whole deal. He wants to live with Tom oh, and Giselle. My Another hey. Brian in the back. And uh, <laughs> and we know Skull Candy is out at the uh, U.S. Open of surfing. Oh, for sure. You know, which is I hear the competition is fierce going on over there on the West Coast. That would be a nice place to be right now. I know your daughter surfs a little bit. Do you surf? She just started surfing. Yeah, I grew up surfing. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. What? Come oh on, man, something you new every day on the Kevin Sun Show. Man, and and and. You grew up in Florida. You gotta surf. Okay, and what's the deal with your boy Tiger Man? He's what having, did Tiger Woods do? He's having trouble getting back into his game. He is. You know, he's been through a lot. Yeah, but yeah, but did you see the, his caddy? The guy he's caddying for. He fired for? him, right? Yeah, he's on. but he's on with another player, and the guy's like. I think one off the lead or something like he's like seven, eight. So under. it's all about the caddy now. No, the caddy's it's not even really about the black Hold guy. on, man. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the the caddy is very important. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't pay attention, but these guys, their their job is to learn the terrain of the courses. I heard a lot of guys go out there and study the whole. Spencer entire School course. is on the caddy. So what's the deal? Are we saying well, that mean, the caddies? Yeah, I mean the caddy is. He he tells you like, hey, he knows your yardage for each club. I mean. It's he's the biggest part of your game. I mean, if you're not if you hit the ball 170 yards and you're hitting the wrong club and you're 10 yards short, then you know you you're not making the scores well, that you should. All right. I need a caddy. I mean, that's my problem. <laughs> I, I, I try to caddy you when I'm out there. Scott needs a caddy. <laughs> hey, hey, okay. This is you, Kevin. What I don't know if you guys heard about this. The mayor of Oak Hill in Oak Hill, Florida. She's 84 years old. She was growing 10 plants of marijuana in her backyard. No, and, uh, it was said that she was medicinal. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But check this out. Someone set her up. Tell hold us on, about hold on. I'm not saying she was. Listen, I'm. I'm going to tell you like this. The police let her go. They said they feel this old lady had no clue those marijuana plants were growing in the back of her yard. And I'm saying, if it was anybody else, would we not do a little investigation? Will we not make sure it wasn't hers? Just because she owed. She's like, I didn't even know that was back there. How you know it wasn't so good she just forgot? You know what I'm saying? How you know she ain't planning and just came up with a good excuse? I know plenty of grandmas that get toe up. I'm not going to blame mine. But I'm just saying there are some out there that get toe up on that goodness. And people are out there. You can't just let people go just because you think they. You need to go ahead and investigate. 
So when I get pulled over the next time and the police ask me what I got 10 pounds in the back for, I'm just going to tell them, you know what, it ain't even mine. I didn't even know it was back there. Does that work for me? It's for your does grandma. That, does that work for me? That would not work. It black is a guy, double standard, man. Hold on. Society, black guy dropped out I-4 with some 22-inch rims, kicking and spinning with the rock star sticker on the back side and, 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 and the skull candy on the left side, you know what I'm saying, and the barley boards in the middle, and I get pulled over. One, they're going to wonder why I got all that uh, – that graphics on the back, do I even know what barley boards is? Then two, then they're going to say, why do you got this stuff in your car? And I don't have to explain to them what's in the car. They're just going to search anyhow. It's horrible. It's horrible. And that's been your PSA from Kevin Sutton. I'm just saying that you, you, you got to <laughs> investigate. Don't just because she old. All right. And we got to, Jared, can you make sure you, you look into Kevin right now? Kevin is looking oh, nice yeah. and slim. You know what I'm saying? You know, in a you know, you know what I'm saying? You are fit. back yeah. on the diet, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Shane, you got to get that shirt. I left him that shirt. You said oh, you <laughs> did? <laughs> Man, <laughs> Shane, you rocking. That's that Schmedium. Yeah, yeah, that Schmedium. All right, you know so. What I'm, I'm looking, so, you know what I'm saying, fly. I got to keep it cool, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people think, I, you know what I'm saying? I thought when I came in studio, I seen that guy without a shirt outside. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right. stepping up your game is brought to you today by Inatrim Modern Medical Weight Loss, located at 1718 West Sand Lake Road, Orlando, Florida, 32809. Okay, we're back on the diet. So um, we had to do what they call gorging this week, and I was mad. I was mad. You know, you know we talked about this, Chris. Chris out, was out representing with us at Olive Garden as we sat there for four hours <laughs> oh, gorging. <laughs> four hours at Olive Garden. But, but check this out. I gained... I gained uh, six pounds in four days because that's what you do when you gorge. Right. I woke up this morning. I was eight pounds down. I was like, wow, this stuff Whoa. really works. Yeah. And Kevin, you gained, what'd you gain? You gained four pounds when you were gorging. Yeah. And you were down really five far. today. Yeah. That's you know, great. you know, that's but good though. The good thing is about the diet, you know what I'm saying? You can go on, off, start when you want, go, don't get on and you don't gain the weight back. I know a lot of diets out there like, you know, Jenny Craig and all the little <laughs> things taking a uh, slim fast and stuff mm-hmm. the weight comes back if you don't if you don't continue on that program so like i was off for about two months no you were off for almost four months you didn't four gain mo- any weight oh my goodness four months. you did good because he kept it yeah. right he yeah, kept it I, off I, I, he I looked good slim, you know what i'm saying i stopped the diet I gained, at two. like in four months i gained about three pounds back so i i was happy i was happy because yeah. it meant like we weren't on it we right, changed right. our eating habits so that was good but you know see the video on facebook we challenge everyone to do this change your life Kevin and I have done it, and we're so happy. In a trim is the most effective, fast, and easy way to do it, and you get the ESPN Kevin Sutton Show price. Guys and ladies, we're here to offer you an exclusive price to get the weight off and get it off quickly. 30 pounds in 30 days. Cost you, normally it's $2.99 to start. With the ESPN special, it's $2.50 to start, and you get your first week of injections free. That's a savings of $110. Go to 888-789-TRIM or go to inatrim.com and tell them Kevin sent you get the weight off get it off so you can get look look good on the beach you know what I'm saying be like Scott Barley six pack abs up in that thing in a trimming with hip hop abs <laughs> you know what I'm and right. do it and do it you ain't got the abs Barley no oh my <laughs> goodness not anymore <laughs> I see some pictures. Like here, yeah. Only Kim there. knows about that. Only Kim, hey, I, I did see some pictures. I like to go for the old school. I like to dig into that Google search and check out everything, all that old stuff. And I've seen a lot of pictures of you back in the back in the old days with the fade, son. You know Man. what I'm saying? Back in the day. He got the long hair and don't care right now, but you know what I'm saying? Back in the days he had the fade. You know what I'm saying? I bet you wear some hard top Dita shells, you know what I'm saying? Looking clean up and that thing. Hey, this is the catch of that show. We're gonna be right back. This is what we're doing, baby. Live. Tune in Sunday mornings from 10 to 11 for the ESPN1080.com Insider Show. The show covers all of your local sports teams, the UCF Knights, the Magic, and the Rays, plus all the top stories, scores, and inside sports. Want the inside scoop? Check out the Insider's articles by visiting ESPN1080.com. That's the ESPN1080.com Insider Show. Sundays from 10 to 11, only on ESPN1080 The Team. Smart Money is searching for true investment value today, whether in stocks, commodities, bonds, or real estate. But only one asset class is up fourfold over the last decade, precious metals. Best of all, today gold and silver are still undervalued from a long-term inflation and historical basis. But before you jump into the best assets of the 21st century, get educated by the gold experts at Swiss America. For three decades, their motto has simply been, in serving, we lead. Their prices are fair, resources are great, and service impeccable. Yes, smart money is going for gold. 
and going with Swiss America. Lift your gold IQ right now. Call now, toll free, 800-978-3908, 800-978-3908 for their 2010 DVD, CD, and Economic Realities Report. 800-978-3908 and find true value today. AutoZone. Is your check engine light on? If so, you should know that if you don't correct the problem now, you could be wasting gas and causing damage to things like your O2 sensor and catalytic converter. Get in the zone. Stop by AutoZone and we'll pull your codes for free. If you want to tackle the job yourself, we're here to help. Or if you need a professional shop to fix the problem, we can recommend one. So no need to wait. Get to AutoZone today. Get in the zone. AutoZone. How is health care reform going to affect you? Nobody knows for sure, and you don't have time to wait. You and your family, you need health insurance, and you need it now. What happens if you get sick? You can't afford that risk. Now you can call for a free quote for low-cost, high-quality health insurance from a name you know and trust. This exclusive health insurance quote for you and your family is free, and the service is outstanding. And they can guarantee your rate will stay the same for three years. Yes, your health insurance premium can stay the same for three years. Call right now. 800-719-8134. 800 719 800-719-8134. 800-719-8134. Call now for a free health insurance quote. 800-719-8134. 800-719-8134. Insurance underwritten by Freedom Life Insurance Company of America and National Foundation Life Insurance Company. Not available in all states. DJ all I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. This is the Kevin Sutton Show. Back live in the studio without Kevin Sutton representing Orlando. And it's not the pastor back up in his thing. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, I just got off the phone with Brandon. BT is uh is lost, but he's almost here. He is almost here. We're we're uh we're going one by one on this. Yeah, I'll, I'll validate him for that one. Last time we came, I drove, so he's usually on that iPhone. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I hope he's not on the phone right now. Trying he to came find with me one time, too, man. You should yeah, know how I don't to get think here. he ever came here by himself. All right. Oh, so today's show is brought to you by marine-products.com, your number one place to buy all of your water sports gear, wakeboards, water skis, tubes, live vests, and more with all the top brands. Go to marine-products.com or call 800 800- nine seven three two eight three four and onlock skate shop located in the heart of orlando on the corner of pine and court carrying the latest in skateboards apparel eyewear sunglasses hat and music go there or go online onlockskateshop.com i want to talk to you a little bit about wakescout.com kevin kevin's yes. wake spot locator if you go on our website kevin sutton show.com you can actually check out your international and your north america spot for the week Yes, you can. Which, your international spot, I don't know if you know, is Fat Wakes in Ontario, Canada. Have you ever heard of them, Have Scott? Fat you, Wakes? Yeah, they're in Ontario. Because I know you, no. you hang out in Canada, don't you? Um, I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hang out there. <laughs> Hanging out in Canada <laughs> with hey. Ali DeRome. <laughs> and then our North America spot is actually KC Water Sports in Hillsdale, Kansas. I know you've been there, right? Um, <laughs> I don't think I've been there, but I know what, what you're talking about. Oh, KC man. KC Water Sports is a nice place. They actually, uh... They got a cable park there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, exactly. We drove by in the Byerly bus. And in Spencer, the bus. he knows the place. Spencer's like, I'm all over it. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm half owner in that place. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but... What don't you own, dog? Wake, you know what I'm saying? Wakescout.com. It's the water sports community online, online resource to discover and share information about all the places throughout the world of where to get on the water. Wakescout.com has over... 1,200 listings from 76 countries throughout the world. Yes, it's a beautiful place. But something we've never talked about is the connect on the water. And I know Jared, um, he, you guys have talked about this. I've heard you guys talk about this. It's like, hey, let's say you're in Kansas and you want to ride. Yes. You can go to wakescout.com. You put your zip code in of the area location you're in at the time, and it logs you into a listing of people that are offering rides if you just put some gas down. It gives you uh, cable parks. That might be in the area or uh, wakeboarding camps as well. So, so 
That's awesome. We got to make sure Toe Jam's listed on there. Well, we do, but just came oh, in the studios. Oh, we'll do it. send him in. Send him what, in. What is that shaft? Is yeah, that the he's trophy? Got some Billy Club. Is that, the, is that the trophy from the Whoa. Toe Jam? Oh yeah. Can we have some intro yeah, music intro again? Music I mean, this is like this is a this is important. And hey, he got my great rock stars on. What? Hey, how you gonna come up in here with the great rock stars? Oh, great, those are house? great skull candy. Those are great, great rock stars. If you got them on, use a rock star. Great skull candy rock stars. What's going on, man? What's going on? Just rush into the studio, you know. Hey, no, ain't nothing wrong with that, dog. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I don't know if you heard us. You've been in discussion all along. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what is that? Tell us what you brought in here. Well, yeah, I brought actually uh, one of the trophies I got from the Toe Jam. This is from uh, 2006. It's actually one of my uh, highlights in my career. I won all all the Toe Jam events that uh, that specific contest, which was behind the boat, behind the jet ski, and behind the winch, which is the three ways you can get towed. Um, Sweet. So yeah, I just wanted to bring one in. We had yeah, a guy that carved up the coolest trophies ever, and this to have one of those like, trophies um, in our sport is uh, one of the spears when I came on the slave ship. I used to have. <laughs> Yeah. Come on. All right. It does. It does. It does. All right, Brandon. Do what I do. Hey, check, like a Flintstone. check it out, man. Uh, go go on the. Can we have the pictures going up now? Com, and you can go on to the UStream and you can check it out, man. This is a cool trophy. Scott, did you come up with this this idea to to have this sweet trophy? Um, Adam Lawrence, aka Blood, made those. Wow, He's man. He's my buddy who. Uh, That's crazy. That's I don't with, even know uh, how to describe that. The first the first uh, trophy he. Carved this big foot with a toe. toe oh on man! And stuff. Yeah, so he he carves tiki's and all that stuff. Oh, okay. So. It's like caveman. Stuff. But uh, yeah, yeah caveman. It's neat to have like a. Cool you gotta be pretty badass to have one of those. And yeah, you got all three to, of them to get that. There's some oh, bigger. So you got ones. three of them. He's got three this different. You got three of them. Don't come busting up in his house. This is a <laughs> man. Oh, I've been waiting to use. Just tell our story that one time we couldn't pick one up, took it, and we stole our, the dog. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> one time I had to get hey, uh, BT, we want to know about your Toe Jam accomplishments. What's it? You, uh, how many have you won? I mean, tell us the uh, deal. Jeez, let me get to it. I mean, I'm not the most winningest <laughs> of all winners like Mr. Brian Grubb, but I do have a couple. Sucker. Go ahead. And, uh, <laughs> no, like I said, that year 2006 was, like, huge for me. I mean, I could have gotten no checks, no money, and just those trophies. I would have been just as happy. But, but the um, money helped. The money helped. Yeah, you know, yeah, the money made you sleep at night. Okay. But yeah, I have a, a couple. You know, a couple like um like a uh, I won one in Canada one time. We had it with Saga Beach, and it was uh I won the rails part as well, and got a huge just big old toe gnarly looking thing. I'm kind of curious to see what the trophies are going to be like this year. Have, have, have to be about yeah, it. Have you? We got Chris Mack on that. He did the trophies uh, last year, and uh, he drew the you know the art last year and this port. year. Wow. For the toe for jam. The toe jam. So, yeah, Chris Max on it. Okay. Uh, Kevin's still vying for the toe position. He for wouldn't next have year. to draw nothing. He just take a snap picture. Uh, you know that um, them three, new three D cameras <laughs> that they got. You know what I'm saying? Just do my foot. We're gonna have a contest out there for the next toe jam. I'm I'm thinking about ESPN child, throwing a so. toe jam contest out there get at that the competition. Foot all funked up. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, who can hold their foot in the ice the longest? You know what I'm saying? The toe jam, toe jam freeze down. And Shoot then we're going to give them, like, a whole bunch of swag. You know what I'm saying? Like a whole that. bunch. Of, they can't get my hat, though. <laughs> can't get that, though. You see that, Brandon? Thompson? That had to come He's out of the vault. with the print on the bottom. Do you, oh, do you, that's big. Do, do, do you see Wait that? Wait a minute. Now? Brandon doesn't know because he wasn't here. Tell him. Give him the news. Well, give him the news. I, I'm that. the official, unofficial uh, Scott Barley uh, team rider. With Shut the front door. I'm official? Oh, man. I'm going to have to adapt did Kim, did Kim say official? You just got hey, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, man. Hey, hey, hey. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all ain't never had nobody so sorry on the team before, but I'm... I, <laughs> yeah, right. I definitely... Look I at definitely, this display over here. This is insane. Yeah. Oh, he's like... You're more official like, when you have this you display. You that on the side of Oak Ridge. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, I, I don't even know what to say, man. You know, I've been, I've been wakeboarding for eight years, man, and, and I never thought this day would come. <laughs> you know, hey, when I won the gravel tour, that was a, definitely a great day in my life. It was. Oh, no, it wasn't you? novice. It was intermediate. Oh, who said that? Who said? Oh, that's that Shane. That Shane? Oh, I was Pump oh, the brakes. Pump the brakes. You won the gravel tour. Money. I wasn't there. No, he didn't win the, win the series. No, no, he what played. You won an event. No. I won first you, place. You won. You won the uh, Malibu tour stop, man. That's what no, you no. Won. I won at the. I got the picture of Steel <laughs> Lafferty and John Jeffries. 
pouring the cool and uh, Daniel Powers throwing the cooler of water on top of my head for winning, <laughs> and I got the trophy. Don't tell me, woman, you don't know nothing about oh, that. Oh, wait a minute, Spencer, you can verify this because I know you're in the know. But actually, Casey Water Sports is holding a Liquid Force event this weekend, aren't they? Of course they are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're co owner. You're, K the K you know right? this. Hey. But we have some questions for Brandon. Now that you're here and you're in the hot seat, you know, oh, yeah. you've come, you've come oh, representing all the all the time. Tell us a little bit about yourself. When did you start huh. wake skating, oh, and man. how long have you been in the industry? Where are you from? Are uh. you half Puerto Rican? <laughs> you're one of us. Yeah, <laughs> I do a little. I do a at, little. Uh, the kneeboard that went wild. That's where that's start. I was getting. That's where heaven started. Was, that's where all uh, of them start at. I was giving Scott my life story the other day, but. I didn't realize that I did, I did, I mean, you know, I didn't start riding until I was about 16, 17 to like wakeboard, you know, to like do it because it was like awesome and like I wanted to do every day. But before all that, I found myself, um, I guess, kneeboarding at Wet n Wild. I used to go play volleyball out there. And, uh, hold on, there's this, Kevin saved a life out on those boards. Really? Yeah. A black man had to save the life of somebody drowning. I in the used water. to ride with a black <laughs> dude out there. His name was Gumby, actually. Wow. I'm not even lying. No, I don't know. He was killer. On the you don't know board. all black I'll people? No, I, uh, I you know, know how all Spanish people know each other. You know black people. I'm surprised you don't know him. Come on, I thought we were down like a zipper. How did I do that? <laughs> so where are you originally from, BT? But I'm from Orlando. A lot of people are, well, think high I'm school. from um, Palm Beach because I went to school down there. But I went. Did to, you graduate high school here? Castle Christian yeah. Academy. No did you way. Know? I was in his in his profile. You better get on your stuff. man. Hey, I'm Oak Ridge High. What year are you? Oak Ridge. I graduated. 2001. Oh, he's a little boy. <laughs> he he's is. Little. He is a little yeah. boy. That puts you like what, 27 right now? Yeah, and 20, I just turned 20, 28. Sorry. Oh yeah. wow. <laughs> Stay okay. up on your Twitter, dog. You would know that. that. And, a, and is there a Mrs. BT hanging out? Is there not not necessarily a wife? I meant like a girlfriend. Uh, yeah, I got you know I got some girlfriends. Uh oh. <laughs> no, I got a I got I got, <laughs> oh, I, got, a, I, got a, I got a girl. She <laughs> actually uh she's pretty uh. You know, quick to get to. I just jump on the jet ski and I'm there. You know, oh, so she lives pretty, on the lake? It's pretty, um, it's almost too easy. Oh, okay. But well, we, we cool won't go into that any, oh, any further. But he's so talking <laughs> about me. He, he's talking about me. <laughs> so how many times have you won over at the Toe Jam? So oh, man. Tell us I, I total. I don't know. Three or four, four or five. I don't know. Was this before you were sponsored by five. Scott Barley? You know what I'm saying? I think that's a little shady. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was recent, but... Um. Yeah, I don't know. I think I have like, you know, four or five under my belt. I'm pretty stoked about it. And, you know, out of all the contests that we do, it's for wake skating the, the most prestigious contest. And like I said, to have one of those trophies, like, means the world to me. I have a lot of friends of mine that are, you know, rip it, if not harder than me. And some of them don't even have that trophy. So. And then the music. How, what happened with the music? How did that happen? The music? Uh, just, uh,. Man, I started DJing when I started um, wake skating, just kind of just because I was in the music. You know, I didn't really know what I was going to do with it. And before I knew it, I just started collecting more and more gadgets and gadgets for this DJ thing. And now I'm on the pro tour DJing and uh, DJing downtown, just talking to Where another bar. Where do you DJ downtown? About, I was talking about uh, DJing at the other bar again. Yeah, I used yeah. to DJ there last year, and uh, they kind of been talking to me, so... Are you available for kid dances and stuff? <laughs> I heard you like your dad's your inspiration on the music thing though. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, growing up, I had two little brothers, but my pops always he played everything: guitar, drums. I mean, anything Sweet. you can think of. My little brothers, they can play everything. Oh wow! Yeah, definitely inspiration in the in the family. Cool. Let me go. Let me go ahead. You know what I'm saying? We got the Grave Crew up on this thing real quick. Grave Crew, what's going on? Hey, uh, just uh, listening in, checking it out. Hey, you forgot about us? Over on the yeah. west side. What side? <laughs> All right, so yeah, busy morning. Crew, it's, it's early in the morning. Yeah, for them, he's man. representing BMX, and uh, crew is what's the uh, what's the Facebook page? Uh, if you That's just look up www.facebook.com forward slash the grave crew. Yeah, you can just do that in the search engine, dog. Hey, Catch up on your game, baby. Hey, Catch crew, up have you game. heard? We have a uh, we have this we have Scott Barley, BT, and uh, Spencer Williams in the studio today. Have you been hearing? Yeah, yeah, I dropped in for a second, and then uh, I had to take some other calls. But yeah, it's pretty hype. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about the Toe Jam coming up, and uh, and you've got a lot of things working on the BMX trail with art and music and uh, the industry itself. So it's all action sports all the time, right? That's right. Yeah, the, if you just look up the Grave Crew on Facebook, you, you'll get to their their fan page. It's a real cool place. I was just talking with these guys a little while ago. 
and uh, a little uh, BMX uh, shop that they're going to be doing some killer things out there in Cali. So uh, stay tuned, man. You got some big things moving. Love what you guys are doing. Hey, and we're going to keep talking, and we're going to have to have you on another day because we're almost off the air now. But uh, thanks for checking in with us and representing West Side, okay? Thanks, guys. All right, thank you. The Grave Crew. All right, we got to do what's popping, you know. They should do a trio. What's popping, baby? Okay, Scott was already practicing earlier. I heard him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know I came on sound effects, did you? you oh, go. my goodness. You know, on, you know what I'm saying? I want y'all to come through with a little bit. What's popping, baby? Can y'all bring that for me? That's what's popping. Go ahead, guys. <laughs> go ahead. One, two, three. What's poppin'? What happened? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. It's like... I was too busy on my phone with the sound effects. Oh, man. That's what's poppin'? All right. What's poppin' is brought... Out of his booth crew, so he's, uh, he's doing the sound effects in here. Yeah. yeah. Brought to you by 2011 Barley Toe Jam, taking place at the Projects on August 31st through September 3rd. For all you listeners, you're invited to join us, Kevin Sutton and the crew, for a best action-filled week. We'll be broadcasting live. Go to barleyboards.com. We have, uh, of course, that coming up. We also have the Surf Expo. We're going to be there Surf September Expo. 17th. Gravel Tour has two more stops at OWC, September 17th and October 8th. And um, they're also doing the Trial by Trick, downtown Orlando, November 5th. Anything else going on that you know of? Ain't nothing oh, else. we're doing Monday, August 15th, ESPN Night Out, Man's Night Out at Play and Trade. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be you talking care. about that next week, too. Yeah. We want people to come join us, and you're going to do a Facebook page to talk about it. Definitely, definitely. You know what I'm saying? With, with everything that's going on, we're just keeping things moving and doing what we got to do, baby. You know, you got the stunt wars coming up as well. Yep. We'll be talking more about that. But it's that time. Hey, this is the Kevin Sutton Show. I appreciate you all being out here for me. Hey, Mr. Scott Barley himself, I'd like to thank you for coming. Oh, thanks for having me. Mr. BT, Brandon yeah, Thomas. Do you know what I'm saying? Mr. Chu, a.k.a. Spencer Williams. The Kevin Sutton Show. <laughs> oh, yeah. And hey. You can keep following us. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Go to yeah. KevinSuttonShow.com. What about us? Hey, Shane Meyer, you know what I'm saying? Chris Abrams, Jared Waters, Mr. G. Fu, and his little sister. You know what I'm saying? I ain't seen her in like 16 years. It was nice to see her up in here. Mr. David back there, a.k.a. UCF. You know what I'm saying? Taking, taking care of the back, the back booth, you know what I'm saying? Hanging it out for Brian. But, hey, we want to thank everybody for listening in. You know what I'm saying? Get your fix. Go to marine-products.com and get your barley boards. You know what I'm saying? Them backpacks is gone, baby. Get some. Get your kids back to school. This is the Kevin Sutton Show. We love you. Spread the word, baby. This is Kevin Sutton from the Kevin Sutton Show on ESPN 1080 The Team, baby. We bring you nothing but the best. Scott Barley Boards, baby. Check out the Arsenal. They got the Assault, the Monarch, the Conspiracy, the Blunt. For the best wakeboards in town, you can get it. You can be the pro. You can ride it like them. When I say Scott Barley, you already know they got the baddest weight skate in town. Go to the website and check them out, barleyboards.com. Hey, this is Brian Winnegar. And we're sorry, but we interrupt your regularly scheduled program to bring you the Titanic in its entirety. That's right. All five and a half hours worth. Enjoy. Pump the brakes, dog. We're here to talk about the Barley Get Down Toe Jam, man. Happening at the project, August 31st to September 3rd. For all those listeners out there, I'm telling you about getting invited to the Barley Toe Jam. It's an open invitation. If you feel you got the skills to get down and get dirty on the rails, you can do that too. Or if you want to just come and hang out with the Barley crew and have a good time, bring your family out there, and after a while, it's going to be super vibe chaos. If you think you got the skills to hang with the big dogs, it's only 100 bucks down, dog. Get in this competition and show them how to get it on the rails. If you just want to hang out, you can get it. There's going to be live bands, food. There's going to be a whole lot going on. It's a good time for the family. You got O'Neal, Nike 6.0, Arnett, and Rockstar Energy, baby. And hopefully just a great dog. For more information, go to barleyboards.com.